Take a look behind us. Kids forced to cross alone. We're learning now that more and more are having to do this at at least 45 elementary schools in Hillsborough County because there's no crossing guard. Yeah, it's a troubling concern for so many parents. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee is at Roosevelt Elementary School driving Tampa Bay forward. Uh, Heather, understandably, parents are worried about this. Good morning to you. Yeah, they very much are. That's why they've made these signs to urge drivers to just use caution, slow down, uh, not cross in the, um, excuse me, not park in the crosswalk. But recently we saw a safety patrol student out here standing at the crosswalk holding an orange flag. The student never goes into the crosswalk, but raises the flag up and down. This school is just one of many that don't have crossing guards. Here you can see a staffer at Ballast Point holding up a stop sign. The school, school district says those employees aren't even properly trained to do that, but they do step up to help out. The sheriff's office tells us, though, not every elementary school is required to have a crossing guard unless they meet hazardous walking conditions or if there's enough walkers or too many cars through a crosswalk or intersection. Parents we spoke to, though, don't think that's right. Why is one child being weighed as more important than the other? They should all have crossing guards.